Hey, how's it going, everyone? Happy Friday! Hope everyone's having a having a kick-ass uh, kick-ass day. Skies are blue here in Charleston, and uh, you know weather has uh, cooled back off a little bit. bit. Been a bit chilly here, but uh, you know I, I wanted to come on and talk about mindset a little bit here. Um, I know this topic tends to kind of you know it tends to be a bit like a uh, um, you know, like you're beating the dead horse or whatever. But I had a very, very interesting um, conversation day with a gentleman named Len Wright. Uh, he, you know, we recorded a uh, podcast interview today, and uh, really looking forward to uh, um, releasing that in a, in a few weeks here. But um, you know, he is big into you know he labels himself as as a mystic. I know that that tends to be a uh, woo woo term, but um, you know his his big area of focus is is diving into one's mind and uprooting some of your uh, your limiting beliefs. And the biggest takeaway that I got from from this talk with with Len is, and we connected at so many different levels. And um, even some of the uh, things that uh, that I've talked about in the recent days, uh, you know, he he covered as well. Um, like I mentioned, I think it was Wednesday, being willing to question even the most commonly held beliefs. And one of the biggest things, and I'll use a personal example here, um, that that I think we need to do is is dive back into even our childhoods and examine, um, you know, wh what the sources of the beliefs that we hold are. Because, um, you know... I, I used to be pretty nervous about even hopping on, um, you know, these Facebook lives and, you know, talking and being the center of attention. So I, I dug back and was kind of scratching my head. It's like, well, why, why is that? Why, why do I get nervous? And what I discovered was that, you know, growing up, my, you know, they weren't trying to, you know, hijack me or, or uh, you know, steer me in the wrong direction by any means. But uh, um, I used to be told that, you know, I was uh, quiet, shy, reserved, maybe even a bit uh, having a stoic type of uh, personality, just like my dad. And, you know, that stuck in my brain. And, you know, I just, that became ingrained in me. And, and like I said, my family was, certainly wasn't trying to, uh, you know, mean anything bad by that. But uh, the other piece that, uh, you know, kind of complicated that was my, my father passed away in, in 2000. And so, like, that belief kind of got frozen in time. And, you know, um, you know, I clung on to that for a long time. And uh, a few years ago, I started to question, like, am I really the quiet, shy one? Am I really reserved? Am I really um, quiet? And, and a lot of times, yeah, I, I do tend to, uh, you know, I, I don't open my mouth uh, without thinking first, generally speaking. Um, but, you know, I can hold a conversation with people. Uh, I can talk on a podcast and interview someone for an hour plus now and, you know, engage people in, in conversation with me and even, even step into the, into the spotlight every now and again, and, and, uh, you know, I'm fairly comfortable. Uh, I, th I don't think, uh, being nervous, uh, you know, getting out in front of a crowd is ever going to go away. I, I think even some of the best public speakers still have some butterflies, some nerves when they, uh, get up on stage, but I don't have that, uh, that, uh, limiting belief anymore holding me back that, you know, I'm, you know, I might, there might be some situations where I'm the quiet, shy one, but I don't have to be that person. And, you know, I don't get too excited. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty level-headed. Level -headed. But uh, getting back to the uh, point of what I'm talking about here is, is that we have to be, we have to be conscious of our thought patterns. We have to be conscious of, um, you know, where those thought patterns arise, and that is our beliefs. Um, you know, a, a mentor of mine um, kind of gave me the saying that your beliefs lead to your emotions, emotions lead to your actions, and actions lead uh, to your results. But I think there's an added um, component to that. In between your beliefs and your emotions are your thoughts. 
and if you can re-engineer your your thought patterns, uh, or excuse me, re-engineer your beliefs, you can change your thoughts and and even uh, even on a more um, practical level, just simply becoming aware of one's thoughts and um, and not letting your thoughts lead you and being aware of what your thoughts are and having that strategic pause to decide whether or not that thought is is valid or or something that's serving you or if it's something that you know maybe maybe you need to just let go of that thought and just let it go and maybe turn your attention somewhere else so um appreciate everyone uh everyone dropping by here checking out what i have to say here um you know i'm looking forward to having an awesome weekend here um getting ready to go to a local brewing company here in charleston that's uh doing a benefit for the uh coast guards the uh, local uh, coast guard uh folks here that uh you know might be falling on hard times uh with the shutdown even though uh, it looks like it's going to be over uh they still have missed a paycheck and they're still going to be struggling until um february 1st here so i'm going to be going to a little uh fundraiser and also um there's a uh, a fun brew ruck that we're going to be doing uh, from from 6:30 to 8:30. I'm um, looking forward to get getting back under the rucksack after uh, being uh, being held down with this uh, bronchitis. Pretty much got it beat. I know I sound like I've got some uh, you know a little bit of uh, after effects here, but uh, it's mostly uh, mostly just a raspy voice and. and I'm not really coughing or, or sniffling anymore, so ready to rock the rock. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Bubba, I can't, something's blocking this. Yes. Thoughts are your feelings, feelings, your actions. Yep, exactly. So I'm, I'm with you on that. Just uh, just a slightly different, uh, just a slightly different take, but I think we're talking about the same thing there. All right, guys, I'll wrap it up there. Um, thanks for tuning in. Let me know that you uh, caught it. Give me some thumbs up. Uh, like I said the other day, Facebook is uh, being squirrely on me and uh, not getting the uh, not getting the traction, the visibility uh, that, that I'm used to seeing. So if if you know someone who needs to uh, hear this message, share it with them. Um, you know, spread the word about what I'm talking about here, and uh, also jump in the Facebook group. Zero Excuses Facebook group. I saw Bubba join today. Gotta send you a quick welcome message uh, when I get home here. And um, you know, if you're catching the replay, let me know you uh, caught the replay. Appreciate everyone stopping by. See ya. I need to make this finish.